so far we have talked about the applications of biotechnology in a very short way now we will talk about the applications of biotechnology in a little elaborative way now uh, biotechnology is applicable in the field of health and medicine ke aapki sehat ke liye kaise biotechnology jo hai wo useful hai kya ye drug discovery mein role play karti hai then environmental use how it is playing an important role in keeping the natural system in balance then we will also talk about the food and agriculture about the genetic modified uh, food and its importances now first let's talk about the health and medicine keep in mind that biotechnology is playing a very important role in the field of medical sciences isme sabse zyada tarakki field of vaccinology mein hui hai jisse jisme hum genetic material ko cut karke tobacco plant mein dal sakte hain isi tarah bahut sare ways hain jisse hum vaccines prepare kar sakte hain ये जो जेनेटिक मटेरियल को काट करके टोबैको प्लांट में इंसर्ट करना है इसके जरिए हम फ्लू वैक्सीन डेवलप कर सकते हैं सो बायोटेक्नोलॉजी हैज अ मेजर रोल इन द फील्ड ऑफ वैक्सीनोलॉजी देन वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द डायग्नोसिस अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ डायग्नोसिस वेदर इट इज प्री नेटल और वेदर इट इज पोस्ट नेटल अगर तो पेर मदर बीटा थैलेसीमिया की कैरियर है या फैमिली हिस्ट्री पेरेंट्स के फैमिली हिस्ट्री डाउन सिंड्रोम की है या किसी किस्म की और जेनेटिक डिजीज फैमिली में रन कर रही है तो इसके लिए बेहतर है कि हम क्रॉनिक विलस बायोप्सी कराएं ताकि हमें इम्योटिक सेल्स और टिश्यू मिल सकें उसको हम कल्चर करके प्री नेटल डायग्नोसिस कर सकते हैं इन बीमारियों के बारे में then it is very difficult to treat genetic diseases because the genes are in uh, running from one generation to another it's a unit of heredity but one of the french scientists has successfully done gene therapy on excellent severe combined immunodeficiency isi tarah uh, cystic fibrosis pe bhi gene therapy successfully hui hai jaise ki pehle maine aapko bataya ki chinese scientist ne कहा कि हमने जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड एम्ब्रियो तैयार किया है दैट इज फॉर ट्रीटिंग द बीटा थैलेसीमिया पेशेंट्स जिसमें जीन रिप्लेस होके नई जीन्स इंसर्ट हो रही है ताकि पेशेंट जो है वो नॉर्मली बिहेव कर सके और नॉर्मल जिंदगी गुजार सके देन द एनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ जीनो ट्रांसप्लांट्स दैट वी कैन यूज द ऑर्गन्स ऑफ other species as well so we can use the organ or graft from one species it can be transplanted from one species to an other now it is uh, it's an era in which the parents can not only um, decide the sex of their children but they also decide the characteristics of their babies by their own that whether their baby have blue eyes kya uske kale baal hone chahiye fair complexion hona chahiye kya unke baby girl or baby boy tall hone chahiye these are known as the designer babies and these are all the applications of biotechnology in the field of health and medicine now let's look at the use of biotechnology in the field of environmental sciences oil spill can occur in the ocean by refineries by industries or by shipping is oil spill ki wajah se animals plants wildlife or even aquatic life suffer karti hai so there is a term known as bioremediation in which we use genetically modified organisms that degrade oil into small harmless molecules so bioremediation is very helpful in cleaning up the oil spills now through the field of genetic engineering we can also create pollution free environment now how it is possible it is possible through the use of genetically modified microorganisms for example genetically modified microorganisms or bacteria they clean up algae from the ponds and lakes and similarly if we use more fertilizers on the trash then what happen the population of those bacteria which are already growing on the trash increases and they play a very important role in cleaning up the garbage or the trash or pollution in any form Now the third most important application of biotechnology is in food and agriculture. 
we can't ignore the importance of genetically modified food no doubt ethical issues are there but in america genetically modified food is used from decades and nothing has happened so we must take an advantage of these genetically modified foods of genetically modified organisms used in the agriculture by this we can solve the problem of hunger malnutrition or, or the factors related to the food in safety now we can improve rice by increasing vitamin a level we can improve the nutritional value in potatoes by increasing the protein level so by the same way we can treat anemia diarrhea in infants so these are all the advantages of genetically modified food nowadays most of the work is going on on pharma crops because genetically modified food has caused allergies in human beings so scientists are giving more stress on the pharma crops these are the crops that can produce pharmaceuticals and can avoid the release of uh, uh, allergies causing molecules into the human beings then we can improve the sheep and cow milk by adding therapeutic proteins so this is all because of the genetically modified food and its application in the agriculture